you know, seven, eight million, eight billion people worldwide can get access to the same type of opportunities, that is going to be huge. My name is Mark Engelhart. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Friday the Gamer Assistant. If you look at the US, uh, you have 30 million people with a kind of accessibility or a kind of impairment uh, that you know stops them from playing games. So we're talking about 10% of the population having some form of, a, of an accessibility issue that would stop them from playing games. The more interesting part of that is like 92% of people actually play games in spite of their impairments. So they want to find workarounds, they want to find ways to start playing games. Not all gamers are included in every single game, which is something that is kind of hurtful for me on a personal level, and I do think that it's, it's unacceptable. So I graduated in Hungary at the Budapest Business School, where I had uh, my bachelor's in international business. Shortly after, I realized that this type of, of business is not really my cup of tea. So I started learning programming and coding. Then I joined a company where I started building chatbots and got to know how conversational AI works, how it can be a new interface between humans and machines. And I decided to combine that with my passion towards gaming. And as a result of that, we started building Friday the Gamer Assistant. The first and foremost goal for Friday is to provide the new types of interactions when it comes to gaming. The way it works is pretty simple. So you essentially playing a game and you go, hey Friday, Friday wakes up, uh, we have an overlay technology that indicates that Friday is awake and then you can start speaking to Friday and that's really whatever you want, like how do you craft furnaces in Minecraft or even, you know, like taking screenshots and videos, everything is just one word away when you're using Friday. We are taking an audio stream, people speaking, and we transform that into a context engine that gives you the right answer at the right time. So we understand what game is being played, we understand what the question is and we understand where the player is in the game and that is why we can combine these pieces of information that we get through our algorithm into the right answer that they can get about the game. As you know time passed by and you know like we, we grew with Friday, actually there was a message I got uh, through our Discord where our community is. And this message was a thank you message saying, because of Friday, I can actually play this game. Not only to play this, but to start enjoying this because you're taking over some of the elements that are super essential part of this game and I can just activate those by voice while I'm being focused on, you know, uh, controlling my game. And that message on Discord from our community started this conversation uh, around around accessibility options built into Friday. Let's uh, talk about a uh, very simple type of game here. Let's say a two-dimensional platformer game. Those games also pose a threat in terms of accessibility. If you constantly need to repeat the press the jump button, for some people that's already a problem because they might have muscle fatigue, uh, they get tired of like constantly pressing the same button. Uh, so it, it already starts there at that point. If you have a cognitive accessibility issue and you might have low memory, you constantly need to be reminded of like, what is this mission that I need to do? What is the objective? It's not you know, purely on the entertainment side of gaming, it's, it's also the sense of belonging somewhere. I want to play World of Warcraft because that's where my friends are, that's where I, can, I get to meet new people. If I'm left out of all of this, then you know, there is a very uh, important social element that's going to be missing from my life. One of the success stories that we're most proud of actually happened to us while playing Red Dead Redemption. And this guy approached us via chat in the game saying, oh, hey guys, uh, I saw you were playing, so I wanted to join in uh, because I can 
thank you for me being able to play Red Dead Redemption in a way that I wanted. You helped me figure out some basic information that otherwise took me ages to understand what was happening and you know I, I can't thank you enough. If you want to build a successful gaming tool, it has to in some way connect to the community that is playing, that is playing the game. When there is no more accessibility issues in, in gaming, that means that humanity is truly free to use any kind of technology that they want.